Lori Steinfeld here with the original wall stamp and I'm showing you something so cool. These little spots right here after you do the brick stamp and instead of having to hold the whole brick over with the weight, you can use a kitchen sponge. I'm just rolling on the red. It's like the perfect size. I'm gonna roll on some of the taupey uh, color to make it match this. Watch. You just set it right in there, eyeball it. It's already square. Press. And check that out. It's almost like the perfect size. And that's gonna help you with that little issue of when you're all done, how to hit that little spot. I'm gonna do it again. Just eyeball it, get it straight. If you press a little bit, it'll open up the sponge a little bit. But check that out. And then you use these little um, foam brushes that has some brown in it. And you can just throw some brown in there. You can put all the color on the sponge if you want, but watch. I'm gonna throw some brown just on this edge, and watch, we'll just hit this little brick. This is a backdrop I'm painting on paper because this is gonna be the backdrop to a um, bachelor party to take photos in front of, so it's just done on paper. The original wall stamp, it's so cool. This is all fake brick, and I wanted to give you this handy tip to get into your little spaces because